I have one resident that barely opened her eyes. She didn't respond. As much as I tried, I knew her for two years. No matter what I tried, massage wouldn't work, nothing worked. But when we got introduced to the iPods and the family told me the things that she liked, it was amazing once we put the iPod on her. She started shaking her feet. She started moving her, her head. Her son was just amazed. Okay, can we stop? Because now I'm getting no aura. <laughs> I'm seeing her all over again. How long has he been in the nursing home? Uh, approximately 10 years. He was having seizures, and my mother couldn't handle him at home. Of course, it affected me greatly because he was always, you know, fun loving, singing, you know, every occasion he would come out with a song, no matter where he was. I remember as a child, he used to walk us down the street, me and my brother, and he would stop and do singing in the rain. He would have us jumping and swinging around poles. He was, you know, he was good. He was always into music, you know, always loved singing, dancing. His name is Henry Drea. Uh-huh. And I'm looking more or less for religious music for him. Okay. Because he enjoys music and he always calls in the Bible. So I'd rather have that for him. We first see Henry inert, maybe depressed, unresponsive, and almost unalive. Yes. Henry. Yes, y'all. I found your music. Uh -huh. you, want, you want your music now? Let me, you want okay, me. Let's, let's try your music, OK? And then you tell me if it's too loud or not. Then he is given an iPod containing, we know, his favorite music. <laughs> He starts to, um, to sing, to rock and to move his arms and he's being animated by the music. And he used to always sit on the unit with his head like this. He didn't really talk so much people. And then when I introduced the music to him, this is his, his reaction ever since. <laughs> Philosopher Kant once called music the quickening art, and Henry is being quickened, he's being brought to life. Yeah. I'm going to take the music for one second, okay? Just huh? to ask you a few questions. Okay? I'm going to give it back to you. Uh huh. Okay. The effect of this doesn't stop, because when the, uh, the, the headphones are taken off, uh, Henry, normally mute and virtually unable to answer the simplest yes or no questions, is quite voluble. Henry? Yeah? Um, do you like the iPod? Do you like the music you're hearing? Yes. Tell me about your music. Well, I don't, I don't, don't, I don't have one, I mean. Uh, uh, so no do you like music? Yeah, I'm crazy about music. You play beautiful music, beautiful sound. Did beautiful. You did you play music when you were, uh, were you, did you like music when you were young? Yes, yes, I went to big dances and things. W what was your favorite music when you were young? Well, well I guess, uh, well, Cab Calloway was my number one band guy I liked. They did the holy, 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 the holy. What was your fav favorite Cab Calloway song? Oh. I'll be home there for Christmas. Oh. You can count plans on me with plenty of snow, mistletoe, present, wrap brand new tree. Ow! So, in some sense, Henry is restored to himself. He is uh, uh, remembered. Uh, who he is, 
and uh, he's, he's reacquired his, his identity for a while through the power of music. What, what does music do, do to you? Thank <laughs> you. 